Hi, my name is Sai and I'm an artist based in Japan. You could say that my workspace has been a reflection of my journey as an artist. I started out with one desk in my bedroom drawing and sending small orders until eventually my tiny apartment was being taken over by boxes of products. Then it was time to move. And finally, in this new apartment, I could have my own studio room and I was able to have space for inventory for my online shop. In the past two years, I've sent countless orders from this room, but recently I decided to outsource order fulfillment so that I'll have more time to focus on the creative side of things. So with this change, it is time for a room refresh. Let's get to it. This shelf used to be next to my desk. I've moved it to the wall behind my desk now. I'm probably going to keep it here. This is next to my desk right now. It's pretty much empty. If you guys don't know my partner Masa, he also works from home. So far he's been using his laptop and working on the dining table. But recently he got a desktop computer. So we're thinking to put his desk here. Now it's time to tackle the inventory area. This was originally a closet that I converted into a working space by removing the doors and covering up the brown walls with white wallpaper. Traditional Japanese closets are quite deep which made it perfect for inventory storage and even a little bit of a desk space. This time I'm putting a vinyl sheet over the brown flooring to brighten up this space just a little bit more. Moving to the warehouse is going to be a gradual process, so for now I still need this space for storage. But I can stock everything a little bit neater as they don't have to be accessed as often as before. It's a beautiful day at the beach. I was losing my mind for about a week until I could call you. So I love my desk, but it does get messy very easily. There's a lot going on. I'm gonna see if I can simplify this setup a little bit and make it a little more functional.
One thing that has been really bothering me lately is the number of wires and devices that are visible on my desk, which is why I'm using Nest from OrbitKey, who is also our sponsor today. OrbitKey has collaborated with KonMari to create a limited edition version of their desk organizer, Nest. It comes wrapped in a beautiful furoshiki, and the Nest itself is in a beautiful stone grey colour. Nest stores all my essentials for working outside. Right now, I have my mobile charger, an extra mouse, hand cream, and a pen. On the lid side, I am using to hold painkillers, my eye drops, and passport if I'm going overseas. I keep most of these items in here, so it's ready to go whenever I'm heading out. There's a pen holder outside that I'm using for my Apple Pencil, and the outer strap can also hold my weekly planner. There are adjustable dividers so you can rearrange the inside for whatever you need. It's great to have everything in one place so I don't have to fumble around my bag to find everything. When at home, the top tray acts as a wireless charger for my phone and also as a little tray for my most important items. I love the colorway, it looks great on my desk and it complements the rest of my desk accessories. If you're interested in getting one, use my discount code or check out my link in the description below. Thank you OrbitKey for sponsoring this video. So first, let's start off with my table. I'm not a minimalist and I'll probably never be because I love cute things too much. But I do get overwhelmed when the desk is messy and there's too many things going on. So I decided to take a bit of advice from Marie Kondo and keep on here only what I need or what sparks the most joy. Starting from the left, I have a lamp and my headphone and yes, I need a headphone stand eventually. I have my nest here which charges my phone and also acts as a tray for the little random things that are usually scattered on my desk. On the monitor stand, I have a couple of my favorite toys and a calculator. I use the calculator unexpectedly often, so I do find it more convenient to have the actual thing. The drawer here holds my iPad, iPad stand, wires, and other electronic accessories. On the right, I have three books, one notebook for notes and ideas, my weekly planner, and my diary. I used to have so many different journals and notebooks, but these are the three that I reach out for the most. In these drawers, I have my pens, scissors, and other miscellaneous items that I use often. This is Sucker from Animal Crossing. It's made by the Forest Mori. And then this is fairy lights that I've put in a Miffy jar. I also fixed the cable management so everything looks much neater. It's not perfect, but at least there's only one wire visible now. Next to my desk, we have Masa's desk, which I'm not going to talk about much because it's his space, but I'm generally happy at how the two tables match because they have the same tabletop finish. Finally, we have the inventory storage. When I used to pack orders in this room, I needed to have everything spread out for easy access, but now everything is neatly packed into this area and I'm very happy with that. I moved the Alex drawer 
bottle is from the other side of the room and I'm using it for some things that need a little bit more protection like archival prints and then finally just adding a little bit of decoration into this space this is the take up space print from my own shop and below that we have Masa's figurines collection this moomin is mine I got it secondhand and it's it's just so cute so overall my desk might not look very different from before but these little changes are made with consideration to how I'm using the space every day and maybe it doesn't feel as exciting as getting a bunch of new decor sometimes just changing up a few things of what you already have can can make a difference I've been using this new setup for a couple of weeks now and I definitely find it more calming and it just works better for me so that's it for this time. If you're wondering where the extra table and my shelf went, I actually didn't finish organizing the other side of the room. I'm trying to make a little bit of a painting corner, so please stay tuned for part two, where hopefully I'll be able to show you the whole room. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye!